Gonna see if I can make some crystals or grow some crystals using Epsom salts. Natural magnesium sulfate crystals with added fragrance. So I bought a couple of packs in Pangland. I did have some already, but that's lavender <laughs> and there's not much left in there. These are eucalyptus. To be honest, the addition isn't the bit we want. We just want the magnesium sulfate. So I'm gonna boil some water, uh, put it in there and mix in both packets so we get a super saturated solution. In other words, as much as possible dissolved in there. And then I'll pour it into there, but I'm gonna warm that up before I pour it in so it doesn't instantly shatter with hot water in it. And see how we go. I have tried this before and failed. I've got a bit of fishing line just here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. And I did have a crystal on the end of it, super glued in place. But instead of that acting as the trigger for the crystals to grow on it, it dissolved. <laughs> so obviously the solution I used before wasn't strong enough because it was still... Um, it was still able to dissolve more crystals rather than the other way around. So I don't think you need to watch me boil the water and pour it in there. But that's what I'm going to do. Boil the water, pour it in there, and then dissolve as much of this in there as I possibly can. When it stops dissolving in there, then I know that I've got it as uh, super saturated. And as I say, we'll tip it in there. I'll glue another crystal on there I think all you do is you just choose the biggest one you can find in the pack and glue it on the end and hope that that acts as the trigger for it to start recrystallizing re again the other thing you can do is uh, put a small pebble on there that has the same effect save a couple of them to try and glue them onto the bit of uh, fishing line later. Looks like I need just a bit more water, doesn't it? Just to completely dissolve all those crystals. I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be the other way around. That they'd dissolve and I wouldn't have enough. Which is why I bought a second packet. Leave it for a few seconds, see if we can glue one of these crystals on. Because we've still got crystals in the bottom of that. I'm going to put a filter paper in here. So we don't get too many of the crystals going directly into here. This is pre-warmed. I'm hoping that will be all right. This is likely to go everywhere though because I've overfilled this.
might be able to add a bit more water and see if we can get that last bit to dissolve. In fact, I might want to make up more because I miscalculated how much water we need in there because I need to get that filled right up. So it looks like I needed about twice as much as I thought. Still some stuff in the bottom there. So this must still be super saturated, otherwise that would have dissolved. And still some left in the bottom there. If that's cool for a while and then we'll put that in. I've left it to cool down. Uh, that's upside down. Now we're down to 26 degrees there compared to the worktop being only 18 degrees. So it's cooling down. What I'm going to do now is go and put it upstairs. I've got a little space, especially for this sort of thing, that I can leave it for 
weeks on end. So I might leave it for a little bit longer before I drop that in there. Because like I said last time I did this, the first thing that happened was that just dissolved away. I think we can just about make out there's some little crystals starting along the bottom there. But don't get confused by the moulding in the bottom. That's that's not a crystal there, those that's moulding in the glass. It's these tiny little speckles down here. Looks like it's starting to crystallise out. This is my special little setup. And I use this for time lapse photography, but I don't intend to time lapse this because I think it will take far too long. It'll tie up a camera for a week or so. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do that at the moment. So I guess we can just go for it. Put that in there. And what will probably happen is that will dissolve. I don't want it to dissolve. That's supposed to be the seed crystal. That the rest of it starts uh, crystallising out on. But going by previous experience, that will dissolve and we'll have nothing left. Time for an update. This is about... Uh, 12... 12 hours later, maybe maybe even 18 hours later. The single crystal I put there is definitely looking interesting. I did do a little bit of a time lapse on it, which I'll show you. Uh, it's out of focus, it's not very good. But you do see, because this gets heavier as it grows, it drops from up here somewhere down to there, so you can actually see movement. Unfortunately, that's not a single crystal. I was rather hoping I might get one single crystal growing there. And down at the bottom, you can probably see we've got all sorts going on down there. So it's crystallising out everywhere, rather than just where I wanted it to. Still, we do have success. At least this time, the crystal that I left there, the seed crystal, didn't just dissolve. It is actually working. There's even a crystal growing... Uh, up there on the fishing line. About another six hours on. That crystal's looking quite impressive. It's still small. And there's loads on the bottom now. And that other one growing up there. I don't know if we can focus on that. Doesn't want to focus. There we are. This is now looking quite impressive. We've got a bonus one up there.
I'm not sure how long to keep doing this for. There's a quite impressive crystals in there. Uh, today is the 15th. We started this on the 11th. I suppose on the positive side, it's not hurting anybody to be sitting in here on its own. So I could probably leave it for a week or so and see what happens. So that'll do us an update for now. Well, that's an interesting turn up for the books. It started to dissolve away again. I think what's happened is I've got the lights on again because I'd set up another time lapse camera on it. And I think the heat from the lights has warmed up the solution and some of it has gone back into solution instead of crystallising out. So I think I've just uh, just destroyed my own crystal. That's really annoying. We were doing so well and now it's going backwards. Hmm. Might have to have a rethink on how we do this. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.